Hello and welcome to the FBL Broadcast and brought to you by Canadian Corporation Limited. Um, today is quite a good day. We've got Terry Radcliffe on the line with us and we're going to have a little chat with him. He's the uh, person who uh, runs or owns um, Stansted Raceway and uh, we hope you'll uh, enjoy yourselves by putting us some any questions. I'm sure we got some comments. Don't forget to give us the good hellos and everything. Just to let you know, there's a little button It says you've got to give StreamYard, which is the software that we use, the ability to know who you are so that we can see you on the back end here. So I've got Jason Hughes saying evening and Jamie Towson saying boom. Right, let's bring Terry in, I think. He's been waiting there nicely. Hello, Terry. How are you doing? Hello. How are you? I'm Thank all right, you. I'm all right. Um, we had a little chat behind the scenes, didn't we, before this all started? So it was all uh, we had a little catch up. We've got some good news and some bad news, as always, which is um, well, part of what we're doing. But I'd like to start off with... Um, just tell us a little bit about yourself. So for all those people who don't know what Stansted Raceway is about, and by the way, everybody, don't forget to share. Share this out there and let's get loads of people telling us. Uh, maybe they, you know, they saw the live stream. We did the first one, which was like 10,000 views. That was quite mad. So see if we can get some of those people back asking us questions about all the stuff that we were doing. But tell us a little bit about yourself from somebody who's never met you before, who you are, what you are, and why you did, well, why you, you purchased Stansted or rented it, whatever it is. Um, okay, so, well, my name is Terry Ratcliffe. Uh, I'm 43. I've been racing since, well, I started racing at Stansted Raceway when it was Henham, when I was nine years old. Um, I, I've been, my dad's been racing since I was three years old, so I've always been around racing. Um, uh, we've raced, I've raced at Stansted, well, Henham as it was. I've raced there, like I said, since I was nine. Um, and the opportunity come up basically a few well nine years ago now i think nine yeah i think it's nine years ago now um yeah the opportunity come up to sort of save oh we lost your sound then lost your sound just at that moment what did you say oh we've lost your sound terry no <laughs> i'm back i'm back yeah yeah okay good so you got the opportunity nine years ago you're saying so what did somebody come up in a trench coat and say hey do you want a bit of standstill <laughs> no, not quite. I mean, the towns ends who ran it before, um, uh, they'd sort of had enough, really. Um, uh, the track had fallen into a bit of disrepair, um, and uh, me and my dad sort of looked at it and went, yeah, do you know what, let's give it a go. And um, the rest is history, really. Ah, well, um, Ash by South says you have done a great job, by the way. And uh, James, James Townsend saying, Levin Terry. And uh, who we got here? Craig Hobbs is saying, looking forward to the new season. So, I well, mean, Jamie Townsend, it was his granddad and his dad that started the track. So, Jamie is the, the talkative one on them. Is that yeah, correct? The, mouth of the, South. Hello, the mouth of the South. Jamie, do you want to come on? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. And let's know everybody else as well. If you would like to tell us your best bit, we'll bring on later. But, um, Jamie has some very interesting things. And he was telling me about that on one of the broadcasts, actually, about his granddad and, and the family and stuff and how they was there and they've, they've had it. So, yeah, so you took it on and you kind of like, you've done a lot to it, haven't you? I mean, the year, so we joined you last year, 11 years, Jamie says. Um, we joined you last year, obviously, as in live streaming it. And, and you started putting up the barriers then. Well, the proper um, fencing, didn't you? It wasn't as, as good as that yeah. before. So you are putting a lot of money into it. There is, and a lot of time. There is no pretty doubt. Pretty much everything. Pretty much everything we make goes back into the track. Um, I understand that? FBL broadcasting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, the, all the tech. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. By the way, who, who who did keep us in, well, got us in contact with each other. So, you know. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah. 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 Um, so no, I mean, from the very outset, we had to put up catch fencing. Um, and it's been nice because it's sort of been something that me and my dad's done together. Um, so, yeah, it's kind of something that we've built up together and we've made it better and better, hopefully. Well, I mean, it is getting better and better, I think. Um, we've sort of dragged the track into the 21st century, really. Um, I mean, it was always a great track. Uh, but, you know, time's moved on. It, it, it used to be that there was a couple of um, few tyres on the, on the on the around the side of the track and a little wire fence to stop cars coming across. Um, <laughs> OK. <obviously, laughs> cars have got a bit faster nowadays and health yeah. and safety's got a bit tighter, so um, things have had to change over the time. But, yeah, I mean, I've got... We, 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 not so much my dad, 
basically we do one job and then I go, right, we need to do that. We need to do that. And he goes, oh, more work, more work. I go, yeah, but explain the track call. It's good. Um, Again, I can totally understand. Um, I mean, yeah, I mean, you've done a what? Last three months, you've been digging it all out, putting the, isn't it, the water siphoning area, you know, the drainage in, haven't you? So, yeah. And that that's that's money and time because it, it looked like it got quite muddy in there. And is that oh, finished now? Uh, we're not finished yet. I mean, the drainage is in. Um, so the drainage is in. The, the, the plan was to do that at the end of last season um, to try and miss the winter. Because uh, mm. it is horrendous over there when once the rain comes. Um, what we ended up doing is repairing our old digger for the first three months. It was just one thing after another. Uh, and then right. we found ourselves in the middle of the depths of winter trying to do the job, which was hard, hard work. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, even walking over there is just you, you, your boots have got like 10 kilos of mud on them. I, really I watched hard. some of your videos that you put out there and it was like, yeah, that's muddy. Yeah, I, You know, I wouldn't want to take Frankie. That's the camper van, everybody, by the way. You know, I, I wouldn't want to even take Frankie through that because it was like you could see it. It, it was you wouldn't, you wouldn't even get in. We, we were struggling <laughs> to get around with a four by four, to be honest. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't want Frankie. No, no, don't keep us stranded. No, please don't. No. <laughs> well, but Every time I came home, I got jet washed in the back garden before I was allowed in the house. Was it like that Pulp Fiction moment? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, down. People going, hang on, he ain't coming back with a car, has he? You know how many cars he has? Yeah, can you imagine <laughs> that? Um, J Jamie, um, just shout out, a little shout out to Jamie Townsend there. If you send us a quick message on um, Facebook Messenger or whatever, well, um, I'll send you a code that you can jump on a little bit later with. That'd be quite cool. Yeah, um, good. Good. yeah and a couple of drives. Well. He normally brings um, me up at 11 o'clock at night, slurring. <laughs> well, this is not doing it at three o'clock in the morning, you know. Some, well, sometimes yeah. there is that. You got sometimes you got to balance things in life. So, um, so obviously you said earlier that you, you, well, you've been watching it since you were nine. So you've been what racing yourself personally, and it, yeah. So I started racing at Henham when I was nine years old. Oh, oh, at nine years old. So you've been yeah. watching since you were what age? Oh, three years old, I think I was three years old. when um, yeah. my, my dad. My dad took me to Arena Essex and sat me down. And we watched the race, and um, and uh, I remember him going, Look, do, do, "Do you want Daddy to do this?" And that was it. That's kind of become our our family's life, really. I mean, all of my childhood was um, spent at race tracks at Arena mainly, um, and then as the years went on, we ended up at Henham. Um, right. I, 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 we didn't really travel around too much because we had Arena Essex and Henham on our doorstep, so. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, you know, we, we was build bangers in the front garden and annoying all the neighbors and, um, yeah. <laughs> so let us know in the comments, everybody, is that what you get from your neighbors? So you can totally relate with Terry here because <laughs> I could imagine that there's quite a lot of that work going on. And, you know, I, I put in the description on all the videos, like, you know, they work with friends and family to get these on. And you know, as we say now, it, it's a dangerous sport as well. You know, people are ramming into each other and it's, you know, it's dangerous. They spend a lot of time and money getting them on there as well for the spe spectacle of, you know, for everybody else as well, really. And also for their passion, because it's got to be passion. Because obviously, if you've been driving since nine years old, I, mean, I have a passion for Formula One and for obviously tech. Hence why I do it. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it's something, isn't it? Just to uh, get behind that wheel and... Go for leather, really. I suppose when it comes to the bangers, I mean the hot rods. You got the, your front wheel drives. You got your dirt rods, haven't you? And I mean junior bangers as well. Sorry, I'm going <laughs> off the there. They don't. They don't give an inch, do they? Either they're, they're out there and no. pedal to the metal. And it's like whoa. Yeah, they're great, the juniors. I call yeah. them my kids. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What, a reflection of yourself? Maybe is that what, is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. Maybe, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so no, do you I mean, think? Um, do you think you'll get more tracks? Um, or is no, one enough? One's enough. The only track that I would, if it ever come up, is I would take over Arena Essex if it ever come up. But I'm very, I'm very, very doubtful that that would ever happen now. Is that is that the one that was gone for um, housing estate or something? Yeah. That, yeah, because Tim, Tim on one of the broadcasts, I think it was the second from last or maybe the last broadcast, Tim O'Shea, Tim Shea, I should say, 
Thank you for helping us out, by the way, and your son, Kieran. He gave a, a run, well, he gave us a history lesson. It was quite a good one. And um, he, he said about that, that how you, you, you know, they wanted silly money or something. Um, but is that because of this housing sort of scenario that they were under? No. So basically, I, I, I offered them silly money and they still wouldn't do it. Um, oh, really? Oh, okay. So what's happened with, from what I can make out, I've probably spent, I don't know, maybe the last year. Uh, well, I gave up about six months ago, to be honest. But um, I spent a good year um, basically pestering everyone I could in that uh, development company to give me um, uh, give me a rolling contract to run Arena Essex. Right. Uh, um, it's, I don't know. Maybe someone I, you hear different things. Maybe someone else has got the the deal with it. I hope they have to save the place. Um, but the impression that I'm getting is. Uh, the the developing the development the developers would rather just leave it sitting there until they get the planning permission they want on it. Right. Um, well, I think one of the problems is is uh, if there was an issue or an accident there, then um, they are kind of in the chain of liabilities. Ah. Oh, um, right. So it's just not worth their. You know, they're a multi multi million pound company. It's just not worth the aggro for them. Um, I suppose right. yeah. And hopefully, someone else has got the track, and hopefully, it's opening back up again. Because um, it, it's really, really sad that it's going. Um, I've, had a, I've had a lot of people talk about Arena Essex. So, yeah, it seems to be like in the heart for quite a lot of people. So, yeah, I mean, Arena Essex was, was the best track in the country. Um, right. In its heyday, it, was, it never got any better than that. I mean, I was fortunate enough to grow up there as a kid. Um, mm. I was there from like every single weekend, basically. My dad raced every week. Um, so, you know, I had all my friends there, all the, all the other drivers. So even before I could race, all the kids used to run around in little mobs and cause havoc. Um, uh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's a big part of a lot of people's childhoods and a lot of people's lives. Um, it would be sad to... It's sad to see it go, but it's going to be even sadder to just see it sit there and rot when it could be used, I think that's the biggest sadness, to be honest. I'd agree with that, because in Ellsbury, we have the Ellsbury United football ground that was owned by whoever, and then it's just been left there rotten. They basically was renting it out to Ellsbury United, and it's just sat there rotten for years. Yeah, Ellsbury United has to play somewhere else and do whatever, and it's a bit like... How can that happen? Are we living in a society now where, you know, you can see the amount of fun everybody has at a race day. I mean, it's my first time ever watching Banger Racing last year, and I loved it. I loved the family, you know, get together. You can see kids of all ages, some of them coming in. You know, what are you doing? What are you doing? And, and you know, it's a privilege for me and FPL Broadcasting to just broadcast it. You know, I've had people come up saying, oh, thanks for broadcasting. It's like, oh, yeah, you know. It, it is a privilege to do it. You know, there is a financial aspect of it. That's why we do it. But it's like, obviously, if you're not getting enough people for the turn, turnstiles, for instance, you know, you can't afford our service here as a business. And, you know, that's why I said, well, I'll, I'll do it myself if you can put up with just me doing it myself, which is quite an interesting question for people out there. Please let us know in the comments whether you prefer it with people on the camera or me just talking all the way through it for the whole entire like nine hours because it is a long day so people don't realize this i get up at like six in the morning and the day before i've been setting things up two hour drive and then set up don't i and i'm literally ready just before you say right drivers to the line sort of thing. we then do the whole day and then i'm I, would you admit i am the last one to leave yes <laughs> how many times yeah, do you say done are you done, done yet <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, Terry, I'll sort it in a minute. I'll be there, man. I'm, I'm, I'm just finished. And I'm throwing all the wires in just to say, right. And then I drive down the road and pull up and have a cigarette and, you know, get my coffee and start tying up everything, ready for the drive home for two hours. It's, it, it, but, you know, I love it. I do love it. You know, I, I feel like I'm part of that family thing. I really do. I do think that, you know, people realise what I'm trying to do and trying to help with um, promoting it. And, you know, it, it, I personally think it's great, great TV as well, you know, great broadcasting material. So, and that brings us on to why 
you're here as well today is to kind of start things off with us, you know, trying to build profile on you drivers. So if you let me know in the comments or send us a message, get a feedback from your mic, by the way, Terry. Um, let us know. I want to start doing things like putting your names in the description so that you get interlinked with the drivers out there. And we can start building your profile. So when somebody types in your name and number of your car, it'll actually show you all the races that you're in. So that's all the little tricks I know in, in all my uh, media stuff. Well, we're going to lose you in a second. So there is a question here from Darren Suttonwood, which is, can't wait for it to start. Will we be broadcasting again this year? The answer to the question is yes. But unfortunately, the first couple of races, um, I don't think I'll be able to because I am actually pre-booked somewhere else, which is unfortunate. It was done prior to the dates being released. Um, and with COVID, as we were talking about earlier, wasn't we, Terry? There, there is a lot of catch-up for people to do. And um, people are booking me in. But don't worry. If I'm available, I will be at Stansted. And it, it will be pay-per-view. YouTube has now done some things so that we don't have to worry about that stupid Facebook thing. And FBL's been kicked off of Facebook. I'm trying to get us back on. I don't know why they've done it, by the way, everybody. Um, it's quite interesting. Maybe it's because of something I said. I don't know. Um, which is to do with my other investigating things that I do. Um, one of the things is, is, is the racing dates. So uh, so you had to cancel the 11th of April, didn't you? So, oh, we've lost him. So I'll bring this up while I wait for Terry to come back. He says, there we go. So at the moment, the 11th of April has been cancelled. And uh, everything's going from the 25th. So, Darren, in answer to your question, I don't know what was that. I was all prepped, ready for the 11th. So at least to get um, that going. But unfortunately, um, the 25th of April and the 9th of May, I am already pre-booked. But as always, ne never give up. There is a few things I'm going to try and do and get around. I am speaking to the person who's booked me to see if they can rearrange a few things so that I can actually broadcast. Um, just having a look at some of these comments coming up as well. Um, let's have a look. Um, Jason Hughes says, uh, what did he say? Jason Hughes says, the lives I watched were good. A few gremlins in the system, but I'm sure you'll get there in the end. Yeah, thanks, Jason. That's exactly right. We will do. Yeah, I just Terry's back. Now oh, you're back. Hello. Hello. So there, there's the racing dates. Um, is there anything special about any of those dates that um, stand out more to you? We've got April the 25th. Obviously, it's going to be the first one now instead of the 11th because that's cancelled. We've got May 9th and 23rd, June 6th and 20th, July 4th, 11th and 25th, August the 22nd. Big gap. You on holiday in August? Um, I can't remember the reason why it's so hard to work out these race dates with everyone. <laughs> so, uh, with everyone that runs, helps run it all. Um, yeah, yeah it, these dates go on to get these dates set. It bounce. We've got a WhatsApp group and we bounce around for about three weeks and go, Right, what have you got going on? What have you got going on? What have you got going on? Who can be there? Who can't be there? Um, so I can't remember the reason for the gap, but there was a very good reason for it. Oh, okay. Oh, I just thought it looked like you're going on holiday. I ain't doing anything for that that couple of weeks. <laughs> uh, no, not that I know of. <laughs> um, September 12th, 26th, and October 10th and 24th. So there is drivers who turn up all the time, isn't there? Um, I want to give a shout out to. I actually didn't make a note of their names, to be fair. But who who is it? Who, who's the regulars at the track? Um, well, to be honest, a lot of a lot of the guys there are regulars at the track. We've we've got, you know, we've got. Mm, I think we've got 120 licensed drivers last year, or not last year, the year before. Um, oh, okay. Last year, you can't really gauge anything from last year. It was a washout no. for everything, weren't it? Um, I think I could be wrong, but it, it, it was well over 100 licensed drivers. Um, you know, most of them guys come week in, week out. Um, yeah, it seems that, but a lot of them, they kind of identify on their car who they are. You know, I've just had a mental block on all the names, and I have done a lot of editing. I really have. I've done all that work to put that all up and get it, you know, for obviously everybody to see their races that they're in. But, um, oh, uh, Jamie Townsend put April the 25th is my, Mrs. Townsend's birthday. There we go. There you go. We put it out there for you, Jamie. Um, oh. 
I, do you know what? I hate myself. I can't even remember one name. That uh, Yob Mob, that's one. I mean, let's see if I can bring up the screen here on the side here, which does actually. Well, first you've of all, you've got Darren Sutton Woods, who's, who's on, he's uh, in the hot rods. I mean, you've got Yob Mob, Darren Mauser, um, Jim O'Hanlon. Uh, you've got Scully's. Um, Scully, I mean, that was it. That's what I was trying to remember. Of, there's loads of the guys. There's, there's well over 100 guys and, and ladies. Um, yep, that's true. Week in, week out. Um, you've got Maisie in the Bangers. Um, you've got Amber in the rear wheel drive hot rods, uh, dirt rods, should I say. I was going to say, I was just going down your uh, the, the old Facebook page. There's a, there's a lot goes on in there, isn't there? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, I, I got to admit, yeah, that I do see the regulars, and and that's what I'm trying to do is, you know, what I was talking about earlier is try and get these all you drivers, you know, your, your profile so that you can actually see stuff quite easily, <coughs> and, and also interlink with each one of your races as well, so that you know. Um, oh, Tim has put hi, Tell and Martin, great track and promoter and great steam uh, streaming. From the boss at FBL. Oh, thanks, Tim. Uh, yeah, thank, thank you for you, making me and Kieran always welcome at the track. Can't wait for the season to start. There we go. That was a nice little thing from, from Tim. Again, thanks again, Tim, for all your help and Kieran um, and for the, the lessons as well about, obviously, about you, Terry. So, um, yeah, I, I mean, what else can you say about about this year? Anything that you, you you can see for me? Because the track is it is it smoother or is it going to be more bumpy this year? Well, the track at the moment still bumpy. Um, cause, so we put the drainage in, but it, it's only drained so much because all the work we've done now is is already working. It's helping straight away. I mean, as soon as we dug it in, it was helping. But the problem we've got is is the ground is already sodden. So right. Um, so it's gonna it's kind of got it we need some we need some warm weather really and um it, it you know it's still sloppy and wet at the moment um what the work we've done this year is really going to come into its own so during the summer when we get a huge downpour uh we can handle that now we can take like a month's I'd, well i'd like to think so we can get a month's worth of rain in a day like we have been and uh, that will be drained away straight away. It shouldn't cause a problem. Um, that's the first thing. But when the track dries out over the summer, what, what happens is the, the ground will dry out and cracks will form within the ground. Right. Um, so when it comes to next winter, when it rains, uh, rather than the ground just sitting there soaking it up, the water's going to find these cracks and create tunnels to our drainage system and then drain away real quick. So we shouldn't get this huge amount of water sodden ground so going into the following season the track should be in a lot better condition um now that's interesting i didn't think of that yeah so so mother nature working its best as always is going to try and find obviously the, the way to the to the stream as, as i say and create those little tunnels all by itself yeah yeah because when when the when the clay dries out it cracks and there's there's all fissions through all of that ground in there um, and it will find its own way, and it will just the more water goes down, it it, it will create its own water channels. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it'll all be for the good, and it'll all work out well. But you know, proof's in the pudding, eh? <laughs> 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 they might have spent a whole load of money and a whole load of headache. Uh, Do you know reason, but I, I don't think we have. It, it can only be a good thing what we've done. Um, uh, yeah, it seems like you've done you've done good. So yeah, it's, it's I mean, that digger. The old digger hasn't really liked it. We, we, we're in the market for a new one now. Um, so yeah, anybody out there with a digger want to give Terry? There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Give me a 20 grand digger. I'll be really happy. Yeah, well, well, I'll tell you what. I'm sure there's some companies out there who wouldn't mind putting a little sponsorship on there, you know, what crane company they are or whatever, and they can give you a digger, can't they? Well, yeah, it'd be nice if they'd done that. <laughs> would, well, do you know what? I hope we can do that. That's something I'm, I'm looking at is trying to bring in some advertising. That will help. I'll have a 911 convertible as well if anyone wants to put their name on it. Anything else while you're here? You know, Christmas, <laughs> yeah, no, that Christmas isn't that far away. Do I mean? I, I personally think you know, with all the work that you've done, it's, it's going to be cool, isn't it? I mean, how many drivers have we got for the first, the first date really now? Uh, we've booked up. I think I think we're at 200 or thereabouts. So what? No, no, no more bookings then? Is that, is that what you're saying? Sorry, no more at the inn. 
That's it. No, basically, yeah, we haven't got the room now. Um, so that's a weird thing that's come out of this COVID situation. So not being able to have the spectators and only race teams, we can then put on these huge meetings that we wouldn't normally be able to do. Um, oh, OK, I get you. But there's, you know, there's half the amount of people there to watch it, and well, that's that's how we we sort of come about together, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, I said this all started in the in the beginning, weren't it? And I think that first yeah. one that you come to, the first one you done, was it ten thousand views? The, the, the yeah, something like that. I, I, I mean, honestly, it was amazing because when that all kicked off, so a lot of people think I just don't do nothing. If they see me on my phone, oh, look at him, he's just doing nothing. Especially from people who are helping you out. And it's like, actually, no, I'm replying to people. I'm trying to find out because I didn't know anything about the sound system, how to plug in. I tried, obviously, my best. But it was like working out the sound, making sure the camera's in the right place, making sure the people who were doing the camera were right. But people were just, it, it was just messaging, just scrolling all the way through, people interacting, you know, and I was interacting with them. It was a lovely feeling. It was just, um, you know, I mean, it was one of those sort of moments that you'll never forget. You know, people say, oh, what's been one of your best live streams? Well, it was the first day at Stansted. You know, it was the first time we've ever streamed like racing, and we there. He got this drone company in as well. The drone company, Essex Drones, wasn't it? They, yeah. That was really cool as well because you know, it was like, what was it? The, the day we the day I turned up, well, we did that test day, didn't we? And yeah. um, we were trying, and and you saw the the data problems I I have to deal with on that day because it's not people just think, oh, you just plug it in, play, mate. It's like no, there's stuff no. I, I'm I'm constantly. I just, I just don't stop. I'm just, you know, I mean, people. It may look I'm sat there doing that, but my brain's thinking like, okay, that's going wrong. How do I fix that? Because it's, it's live, and you literally have no room for error, so to speak. But you have to just do things off the fly. But I put a bit on that, that, that live stream, which I always remember, which was like, right, everybody, Terry's paying for this, this live stream. It should be like a pay per view sort of scenario. He's not charging you all. Say thanks, Terry. And then literally it takes now, again, we're talking now. So when you people obviously see it, you're 30 seconds behind what we just said. And then it literally, you're like, look and go, oh, nobody's saying thanks, Terry. And then all of a sudden it just went, boom, just, just, just loads of it going. I was like, oh, that's cute. That's good. That's good. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and, and that's what, you, that's how I want to do broadcasting. You know, I, I want it to be interactive, you know, and what I've done in the days um, of, you know, just doing it on my own and, you know, just trying to you know, put the cameras in the right place. But in between each each heat, you know, I like it when Jamie gets to talk and I don't. For for once, I want Jamie to talk. There you go, Jamie. He did put on there, by the way. He, he put a quick question. I'll bring it up in a second, actually. Um, you know, I get to, like, have a little drink of coffee, you know, and just chill a little bit. But I get to, you know, I'm talking to people and I'm interacting with them and I'm, like, you know, building up a rapport. And also put some photos on. That's one of the things I say. Put some photos. Tell us what you're watching on. And, like, people are watching it on TVs. You know, sat there yeah, on the lap. You know, I love seeing it. It's just it makes me feel a whole lot better. You know, it, it's you know when you look at something and you go, "Well, I'm glad someone's had a nice freaking dinner and a nice chilled out time." But actually, yeah, I'm putting yeah. out there. That's good. Well, I, like I, I come home that day, and uh, so I, I think I finished up about nine o'clock that night. Come home, had a shower, and then I sat there and watched the live broadcast. For, we for we also had a chat and a message, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, we were talking, weren't we? Yeah, you got back before me because I had to like sort out all my stuff, and then you messaged me, and I'm like, and, and what you said there, you done me proud. That was that that was like, oh, you know, it, yeah, it, it was nice. Yeah, it was good. It, it's you know to, to do that and just to get that out there. You know, let let us and know it what you've been done before, either. You know, it was all new, and even like included like cutting to the drones, and you know, also you'd never been to a banger race. <laughs> That's it. I, I had no idea what was going on. I literally no. Chris there. You know, he, he was my mate, you know, he's my mate, and he was he gave me a rundown, but it was like I have no idea. This is totally off the cuff. And you know, I work good under pressure, I think. And you know, and that was probably a day to prove it. And you know, I'm glad we like sorted out the feed as well in. But there was a question here from Jamie. He says, Tell us any thoughts more on track versus track. Um, yeah, well, you know what? Basically I've with I talk to a lot of the other promoters now, um, the ones that talk to me anyway. Um, um, and, yeah, I mean, we're, we're, we're talking with Brampton about doing a track v track. 
there's a possibility of doing something with Swatham because they're just down the road. Um, okay. So what they're going to come to the everyone's track. got, and this is a reason why I've not put out all of the fixtures for the year now. Right. Is basically we don't. I, I'm very. I mean, like I've just had to change this meeting. I don't want to put anything out yet, and then have to change it all because yeah. you know there's now this third wave in Europe happening, and invariably that's going to end up on our shores, and we might end up in another situation um so i i don't i've i've not put everything out there that we're planning on doing and right. equally you know i'm trying i've had conversations with other tracks and they're like look we just want to get the first meeting out of the way and see where we're at and then look at what we do going forward um and it's kind of the same with me really as well um everyone just wants to get back to what they was doing and then look at what we can do for the rest of the year, even if there's if if we can do that for the rest of the year. Um, yeah, there is that. It's, isn't weird, it's weird times. It's awkward. It, yeah, uh, I mean, COVID is literally just thrown everything out, hasn't it? Literally, the what we can, what we can't do. What... Two years ago, someone told you this, you'd be yeah, okay then, never. <laughs> Let me guess, tinfoil hat wearer is what I would say. I mean, there, there's loads of stuff out there, you know, conspiracy theories, you know, they call them whatever. But the reality is businesses are being affected. They're going to the wall um, because of it. And yeah. it is an adapt. You've got an adapt to it, haven't you? Uh, like you're saying, you, you still have to pay your insurance. You know, like me, I, I live broadcast stuff and I still have to pay my insurance based on me going out to venues. I can't just say... I, well, I do, I, you know, I have said, well, you know, I hardly go out as much. And I go, doesn't matter, mate, it's still the same. And you're like, and you got to pay it. And it's like, yeah. you, you get no discount. It's like paying for the, the road tax for the car. Well, for Frankie. Um, and, you know, and all the equipment and the licenses, you know, there's stuff that I buy. And, you know, it's like, that doesn't, that's still the same. You know, and considering what I'm doing is really quite new. Live streaming, you know, a low cost alternative rather than paying like, you know, 10, 10 grand or, I mean, you know, some really good sort of um, operations that are out there. And we're talking very expensive equipment. You know, they don't turn up in a camper van, do they? Like I do. <laughs> Just no. go, right, here we go. Yeah. But I think the output that I give is way, way, well, more than what I actually charge, you know, but it, it's, it's trying to bring it and make it, you know, like I didn't charge you full price for the first, you know, for, for any of the races, did I? I gave you a massive discount. You know, I've got to obviously pay my bills and pay for my stuff and, and whatever I, I've got. But, you know, it, it's working those things out and trying to make things stretch out during this period. And there's no help, for, like in my business, there's no help from the government. There, there is loads of things that no. we, we just don't get. And people go, oh, well, why don't you furlough? It's like, well, if I furlough, I can't put anything out. I literally have to go, you know what I mean? Nothing. Yeah. And it's like, well, I can't do that. I'm running a business, and it's, it's like, well, we can't get it then. And, and there's loads. I won't even go into that. Um, setting up a business doesn't always put your financial position in a good place. <laughs> so, I was that. all about that. I went about that. <laughs> but, but that's the gamble we do, don't we, to, to own our own business. And I, I think it's a passion. Obviously, you, like, you've got your electrical company, which, again, we haven't touched on yet. So there's a lot of people don't realize that goes on, isn't there? <laughs> in the lives of people and what they do with their passion and obviously your passion is with Stansted and with Banger Racing but you do have a full time business that you run and you still do all this and it is a lot of work isn't it? Yes yeah yeah it is a lot of work yeah um, our work schedule it, it's been strange like as I was saying to you earlier so uh, our work has gone like almost doubled or tripled and essentially it was just me at, at the start um, uh, I've now taken on actually one of our drivers, Alfie Had it. I've taken him on as a, an apprentice, um, and I've got uh, I'm pulling in other guys to help me with work. Um, but you know, al along with this extra work that we're getting now, I've also got an extra paper trail, and um... <laughs> sorry, I'm, my, my friends are texting me. Hello, Sam Preston. <laughs> <laughs> I won't tell you what he's just said. Um, oh, okay. Yeah. So 
so, you know, well, like once I finish this, I've got a couple of hours of paperwork to do after this, um, and then it's track and as well. So yeah, it is. It, it it's difficult juggling it all, um, and but it's worth it. It's good. It is. It's a passion. That's what it is, isn't it? You yeah. can't say it. it's just a passion. I mean, all the I ain't been funny. All the paperwork, all the stuff I got set up before the scene. You know, I spend days doing stuff. You know, I, I, we've, we've talked about this before. But getting out there, live streaming it, is the passion, and it's that you know that that's the drug. That's what you want. You know, that's what you're loving, isn't it? And and, and we do yes. more than what people even possibly think. It's always good to look from the side, isn't it, with those binoculars? Oh, look, that's all they're doing, and you're like, I wish it was that simple. Yeah. How about I tell you what we'll do? Um, obviously, we've gone half an hour. Shall I throw out the code to everybody so any so we can get Jamie to jump, click the code, and jump in, and maybe a couple of drivers. So so. I'm going to put the code out there or the link to come backstage and I'll bring you on. No, no rudeness. <laughs> I don't want any nakedness. And <laughs> one of the other things is be nice. So, um, right, let's, let's do Well, does anybody want to come on who's commenting at the moment? Jamie, you want to come on. I know that. And uh, and Jamie Johnson says Piers Morgan has left, let himself go. Is he referring to me or you? That's the question. Right, let's have a look. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm going to put it out there so in 30 seconds people will start to pop, pop in. There we go. Three, two, one. First time I've kind of done this. It's a bit dangerous, especially with, the, with these people. So, yeah. So, there's a lot there. I mean, I mean, let's talk about Jamie for a sec. You know, he he, he does a lot of funny little announcements, I've noticed. And um, everybody, go do me a favour, everybody. Can you go through the videos? You know, again, there is the opportunity to of some of the stuff you can't watch unless you pay, which is one ninety nine. Um, go there is they they all become free eventually. Every heat, by the way, the, every other day is usually when I release something, but it's the way I got to work with YouTube and all the other stuff that I do, um, and that's why it's done the way it is. But if you see something funny, put I don't know a hashtag or something, or just put you know put a comment. I always usually reply to comments, but um, literally just put on there funny little moment. From Jamie and um, or you, or from you got guest. Jamie brilliantly uh, at one of the meetings. So in, in during the break, um, Jamie had gone and opened the boot of his car, and he was laying in the boot of his car. <laughs> and you walked around and interviewed him, and the way he jumped up, I was just thinking, it was brilliant. Yeah. I think he was having his rabbit and he was eating something, wasn't he? I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I he jumped straight up, and he was like, "Oh, hello, yeah." It was excellent. I was, I was creasing up. I was. It was brilliant. Do you know what? Well, again, with the more this is the thing about the live streaming. Again, it is going to cost. Um, unfortunately, it's about eight ninety nine um, until I can bring things down a little bit. But um, I just want to quickly put out there: Is it time to race yet? From Dan? Um, PF Racing, um, the track has come so far since it was in Henham. Terry and the team have done a brilliant job. Thumbs up, PF Racing. Love you guys. You're all cool as well, by the way. I've had some chats with them. So who have we got here? We got Jamie. Jamie's here. Oh, oh, no, no, I'm taking him out. Take him out. I can shut him up for a change. <laughs> there oh, is some money. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? You're right. Look at that. It's my Del Del boy attire, isn't it? Del boy. Oh, yeah. What was for the It's your wife's Terry. <laughs> <laughs> She left uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> I think it's his personal Friday night wardrobe, personally. It looks like it. I think he's trying to show himself. He's got that sort of... What was that it film? Is, where, it is. Uh, all the it's hell lovely, isn't it? Yeah. What was that futuristic film with um, Bruce Willis? Oh, you mean... Uh, what is it? Rocky Horror Show? No. The Bruce Willis one and, um, you know, the fire and the water and everything. Come on, everybody. Help us out. On the, Fifth, in, element. In the... Fifth Element. Fifth Element. Huh? Fifth, Fifth Element. No, the film. Fifth Element. Oh, sorry, I thought you said Phil Element. So, no, Fifth Element. Yeah, well done. That's it. You look like the bad guy in that. No, no, no. <laughs> we said no rudeness. Jamie, is that crafty comb over you've got going on there? It does look like it. It's pretty... Oh, tell, you look so intelligent. <laughs> makes it's a line now. I, I look like Gary Oldman, isn't it? <laughs> you look better look without the glasses on. So here's a question Why? for you. Here's a, here's a question for you, Jamie. What's what's your best? No, no, it's really it's really good. What's what's your uh, best quote that you love saying? Get your bangers out. What's my best thing I love saying? Yeah, uh, when, when you're uh, when you're comment. Uh, <laughs> um, 
Yeah. Is it on the mic or off the mic? Uh, on the mic, yeah. I, I know what you say off the mic, and that's bad enough. We can't broadcast that. You're going to trouble. Are you making himself a cup uh, of tea? I would say... <laughs> He is. He is. You actually make oh, a cup of tea. I can't tell what like him, mate. You don't see anybody on GGM TV doing that. Mate. <laughs> Sorry, Jerry. Can tell me we've got we've got four people watching live. Come on. 32. <laughs> 32 people. There we go. Um, yeah, what's your face? Is it 32? Yeah, Kids, yeah. Kids don't watch this. Yeah, yeah, be careful. <laughs> yeah, be very careful. Don't yeah, yeah, you way past your um, my favourite saying, um, there's got to be something like hanging out the back of them. There he is, 599, hanging out the back of number seven, he's coming up close and stuff like that. I haven't paid... To be fair, Martin, it just comes to me. Just, just comes back, doesn't it? <laughs> it dribbles I think out like most... sewage. What, your... what, was that? what was that, Terry? It flows out of him like sewage. <laughs> yeah, sometimes what he says off the mic does. I can tell you that. that, that, that there is no doubt. But <laughs> yeah, like a test pit. <laughs> yeah, I think your most favourite one I, I've caught so far is, unlike the banks, Stansted Raceway is always available for deposits on a Sunday. Oh, yeah, on Sunday. Oh yeah, that yeah. is a good one. That is a good yeah, one. Yeah, the banks you can always make a deposit. <laughs> there you go. That's the one. I mean, I've referred to it a couple of times. Um, also, you get oh, oh, get more more bangs for your bucks. Yep. And more rolls for your doll. Uh, so, everybody out there, write us in the comments if you uh, what's your favourite saying that you've heard from Jamie? Because um, that that I don't know if anybody's seen this, but well, obviously they have. The people who've watched the watch some of the video i don't know which video it is maybe people can tell me out there but there is one right You're, you are actually obviously commentating and then you reach the it goes to a red flag and the and and the uh the the steward has like the yellow flag or gets the flag and it, and it goes like he's got the flag and, he, and you go right red flag red flag and he, he gets the yellow out and obviously you've watched him and then you go no red flag you see him go oh <laughs> the red flag. It's just like one of those funny little moments that you just capture. It's just like you watching everybody, and you are literally like you never go to the front when there's a comedian on stage. So really, you are watching, aren't you? And you're ready to take the Mickey out of them as well. Yeah, I'm a he yeah. I, I love a heckler as well. Love a heckler. Does anybody heckle? I do a lot. I just to, to be fair. <laughs> Oh yeah, Terry, all the time. He does. <laughs> he does. He's horrible. He's horrible. I go home and cry. No, no, you go into your boot. I had to buy a dog so I could kick it. <laughs> I, got it. I, I have heard him say a couple of things, but you don't really get hecklers. You give out. You give out a lot. You do give out a lot. There is no doubt. Shouting it through that mic as they go round. You're shouting at them. He's gone quiet. Look, that's the thing is, though, Martin. Um, I don't know if I'm, yeah, no, no. The thing is, right, it doesn't matter if you're a world champion like Shane Davis was when he came and visited us, or if you're just a Joe Bloggs who started out from like that's it, your first day. Everyone's up for a cane in there. It doesn't matter who you are, or, or you know, you, you're not bigger than the track. That's the thing. That is true. That is very true. <laughs> and you make sure of that. And Terry does as well. I hear him shout you know, at people as well when it's um, on the day. <laughs> Wait. It's mainly me, though, Martin. It's mainly me. Well, you, now, you see, now, the thing is, you, you, have, Honestly. you have all the, uh, the speakers, you know, echoing your voice throughout the whole entire area. Well, Terry's actually shouting at people. <laughs> so, <laughs> get back. Wait. No, don't do anything. But, do you know what? I, I, I will, I will win. Hang on, I will. Oh, I'm sitting up now. I will interrupt, and I will say, I was going to give it up about about eleven. It was about eleven years ago. Tell, um, I didn't want no more to do with it. But Terry wouldn't let me 
he had to get me back. Terry, are you telling us? So the reason why you lot have headaches is because of Terry. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. It's that's right. The job. <laughs> no, I, 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 haircut. I wish we wanted back with that. Uh, I think he's going to go for the fifth element. It's not yeah, iffy. Yeah. Look at that. Look. <laughs> That's all good. So, have you missed it, Jamie? Being being off for these last. There you go. No, because I'll take the mick out of my kids. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, uh, I, comment, I commentate on life. No, that's. I do. Uh, I, I walk around talking to the cat like it's a banger. <laughs> oh, and there's a cat coming down for its food. <laughs> It's jumped over the dog. It's on the sideboard. Yeah, it's just my life. Oh, the just, thing I, is, I'm not. I'm not even drinking. It's just oh, me. That explains a lot, really, doesn't it? I think. I think it's. It's one of those things where, yeah, I yeah. can see that, especially with the haircut. But it's. It's, <laughs> it's trying to sort it out. I ain't even got out. Okay, here's a question for. Me. But no, it's. Um, what I want to do is I just want I want everybody to sort of all the seventeen people now who are watching this. Thirty-three. Um <laughs> thirty-three. Yeah, there you go. So my wife must have logged out. Um <laughs> so but Terry and Keith have done so much work to that track. They have. Big big shout out um, and and like I said, like I said, it was a track that Started on family values. Um, unfortunately, couldn't carry it on anymore. But it's still got its core values to heart. And that that's 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 your family. It's to family values, and that's that's what that's what got me back to go, you know, and and to commentate with Terry is that it's not it's it's not a a big you know, I don't want to say anything wrong about other big promotions or stuff like that, but it's not your Monday, you know, it's not PRI or anything like that, or, you know, oh. RC or anything like that. It's, it is, I know, but oh, it's BBC and ITV, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, but, it's, it, I, yeah, I, I, and I, if, I, that family values. Yeah, I think what Terry's doing there. I enjoy. I mean, what you said to me, is without a doubt, you know, about the family, about the way it was. I mean, the first time I got there, you were really nice to me, which was a bit weird. Because as you got to know me, you got worse. Um, <laughs> but it is, it's a great family. Great family attitude, you know, towards and making everybody feel welcome. I wasn't. I wasn't. I don't like you. I didn't like you then. Well, is that because you keep on sleeping in your boot? That's what I'm going to say. You know, it's just one of those things. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm only joking, Martin. I'm only joking, know, buddy. You know, you've been really good, especially with the live <laughs> broadcast. Me sticking a microphone in your face, you know, when I can. Um, what would you say? Here's a question for both of you. What would you say is a moment that sticks out the most? As long as it's a microphone, it's fine. <laughs> as long as... <laughs> um, what do you think is the best, or what was one of what for me sticks out the most? Have all the races last year? Oh, there's a question. Um, Terry, do you want to go first? Uh, for me, it was that ladies race. first. Um, having <laughs> having two hundred cars there and nigh on over hundred bangers um, right. in the whole place, and the whole place was packed. Was like great and. Like I said before, it's only because of COVID that that can happen. Um, and, you know, we're going to be doing that again in a few weeks' time. But we, we just haven't got the capacity. Normally Every meeting. To do this. Yeah. It, it's not a normal thing, is it, really? Um, no. no. But it... you know, for me, walking around the track and there's 100 bangers and I'm having to put on lots and lots of races for them, um, you know, as, as stressed out as I am on race day, I'll take a moment. I'll, st I'll, I'll stand up in the coaching box and I'll go, "Yeah, this is pretty cool. Look at this." <laughs> <laughs> see, see, oh, Humans give me one sec. I have no idea why I just did that. There we go. Uh, I was going to bring it up actually. The um, if it if it would do what it's supposed to do, which was that race or that banger banger racing meet, which was here. If I bring it through, ah. Uh, there we go. Add it to the stream. There we go. Ah, oh, ads. Why am I getting ads? Come on. There we go. 
It doesn't like me, does it? Bloody YouTube. Yeah, I know. Again, it's something that... You haven't paid for your subscription. That's what it is. Yeah, see, even I get clobbered with it all. But this was towards the end, wasn't it? Here. I mean, that... that What? <laughs> there we go. That's the price you pay for putting stuff on that. Give me one sec. There we go. That was... I mean, again, the aerial view of all that, just seeing all those drivers, you know, all the cars waiting for the, the banger race at the end was something. I mean, seeing that all just... Yeah. Just look at that. I, I, I mean, the drone guys, again, couldn't beat that, really, as well. That was... Uh, I think we got you talking. Right, Alfie, oh, I don't know if you can hear me. Hear the, hear the old talking. So that that was a great. That was a great one, wasn't it? You had loads of people there. You had <laughs> the drones. Is that who is? Is that me? Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah. There was all that. There was a uh, quite. Now the, the funniest thing I mean you see that crash egg just going on it was quite, <laughs> it's quite mad it, it it's that was my first ever um banger racing me and you know I was on the mic there that 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 was all just me you know doing my oh you know high pitch sort of thing because I just couldn't believe what was going on and to see all those cars there, and like Chris said to me, that's not usual, is it? Really? Excited kid, excited child. I, I, I was. I, I love commentating. I love. I will get back in that box and do some commentating with you. But obviously, when I'm on my own, I can't do it. It's, it's kind of hard because I'm making sure that the cameras are actually working. <laughs> but we can banter with each other. What because of COVID and all that? Yeah. I don't mind. I don't want you too close. I am married, remember. But we can bounce off each other through COVID through your van and. You know, yeah, well, I'm, do you know out. what? If I needed that sometimes a double act is what it needs, I, I would say, um, not really with the way you talk on there quite quite well, <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, but seriously, you do a really good job. So, who's that in the background? Tell is that Nat? Is that Nat? In the background? <laughs> no, that's just me and the cat. Look, <laughs> oh, the, the cat's laughing at me. I would yeah. say. Oh. But but so, uh, tells cat. I mean, I mean, it's pretty good. It really is good. To have. No, um, yeah, we can sort of be. Yeah, we could be the Primark version of Ant and Deck. There we go, the Primark version of Ant and Deck, like that. That's quite a good one. So so, what was your best moment then? I would uh, I would have to say the same as Terry, only because I was in lockdown and it was our work. <laughs> Being in lockdown, <laughs> doing school teaching. Oh, homeschooling. I've got to love it. So it was nice to get out. <laughs> yeah, I'll go and do a whole yeah. I'll do the whole was, weekend. No, um, <laughs> uh, well, I've got a sack for drinking on the job. You got what? What from the homeschooling? <laughs> but <laughs> uh, yeah, <laughs> I've got the sack. Got attention. Yeah. Been a very naughty boy. Yes. <laughs> That was it. Yeah. Um, no, I would have to say it was nice seeing it packed out as it was. Um, Terry probably does it as well. Looks back at videos from, you know, mid 90s to sort of early 2000s, and it was always packed out. Okay. And then it just yeah. dropped. Everybody wanted stadiums. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Everyone wanted to be in the stadium, and everyone, yeah, yeah, just dropped, didn't it? And what do you mean it dropped? Yeah. You mean it was just yeah. like, but it's, like, it's nice. Yeah. It's coming back. It's coming back. Yeah. So, so do you do you think um, the live streaming's helped you in any shape, way, or form? Do you think it's pushed pushed out there a bit more for you? It's got me out to the public. Oh God, I do me. apologize, everybody. <laughs> I'm glad I can do my bit because this is the thing. It's an independent track. description below. If you need me for uh, entertainment parties, it's fine. Put, put, yeah, put your website on there. Put it in the put it in the in the comments, and then um, people can see it. There you go. I'll put it. In, I'll put it in the um. In yeah. the description. But I will not hang from a noose. I will not <laughs> hang from a noose. Thank you. So, what? what uh, uh, You're going to get one person to say that. Yeah, yeah, you, you are. You are. I, I got in hardly saying. Uh, here we go. I'll bring it up. Uh, get the megaphone sorted for briefings. Ah, oh, yeah, the briefings. Are, yeah, they're, they're they're all good fun. Where uh, 
you do shout at them, Terry, isn't it? If they come close, right, you can hear me. Oh, COVID, not allowed. Uh, <laughs> uh, and what it's 5739. So, to be honest, I don't really listen. I'm too busy watching the massive crashes and concentrating on the racing. Oh, but you got, you got to listen. Well, Swift, you need to, you, you know, you, it's, a, it's a group effort. You need to, some, you're not going to put a film on quiet, are you? If you're going to watch a film, you're not going to mute it. You listen to the film, there you listen go. to the commentary as well. And the soundtrack behind. Don't forget that. Commentary oh, makes it. It does. I uh, can't wait to come back down to Stansted um, from Swifty as well. There we go. And Jason Hughes is just laughing out loud to what we're all doing. So, oh, Swifty, you're all right then, mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, not only that, the health and safety is ruining it now as well. Oh, there we go. Is that, is, that a, is that a big thing you see? Health and safety is coming in and cause issues? What's for... health and safety? <laughs> There's not much you can yeah. do with it. It's health and safety, isn't it? It's... it's... Health, health and safety this year, well, last year. So um, we'd, always, we'd always sort of fell under the radar a little bit, to be honest, and I was amazed we were doing what we were doing. Um, unfortunately, there was a, a, a guy lost his life. Um, oh, no. The, the year before last, uh, another track. Um, that triggered a, a bummer, series of events. Um, so the coroner, the, within that case, where the poor fella passed away, um, contacted the health and safety executive, and the health and safety executive looked at over racing as uh, as a sport in the UK, um, and pretty much had a heart attack. And I'm led to believe that they were asking for all racing in the UK to be stopped immediately. Um, that didn't happen. Um, but what it did was brought in a whole load of um, a whole new set of rules and ways that we run the meetings um, in a more safety fashion. Um, I know a lot of people don't like it, but you know, look, looking at it now, it, it makes sense. But you know, when you're doing something, it, it makes sense at the time. But now, looking at the changes we've all had to make. Um, we so to, to, to open up and get insurance last year, we had to employ a um, health and safety consultancy firm who come in. Um, I had lots and lots of meetings with them, and we had to go over the whole running of how meetings run. Um, right. So you know, we used to people would just wander on track. It was annoying. I used to shout at them. It wasn't the end of the world. Now that you know, essentially. This is also why the drivers need to stay in the cars until they're recovered, because we've got all the, rec the the guy that passed away. He was he, he had an accident with one of the rec recovery drivers with one of the recovery vehicles clearing the track. Right, and you know if you think about it, if you walk, you can't just walk into like a factory um, no. and wander around. You need to be briefed. You need a high vis. There's a whole load of health and safety. There'll be uh, special routes that you have to walk down to, to walk throughout that factory, um, and essentially that's what's happening once the race is finished. We've got, you know, ten recovery trucks driving around, forklifts, diggers, all sorts. There's a lot going on, and then you've got thirty guys jumping out of cars and wandering around, um, and you know it is a very very unsafe place, really. Um, and don't be wrong, we've we've had near misses. I've I've had near misses. I've, I've nearly been run over myself a couple of times. Um, but, you know, just because I haven't... Sorry about that, Tell. <laughs> then, then, you know, it doesn't mean that it's not going to happen. So there's all these new rules that are now in place um, that we've had to kind of put in place ourselves to be to, to keep the insurance companies happy. Um, yeah. and, and that, unfortunately, you know, some people hate it, some people don't, but it's the only way the sport's going to continue racing uh, happening is by having the health and safety and adhering to it. Um, it's, you know, it is what it is. And, you know, at the end of the day, if that, if these rules stop the, the someone being injured or someone dying in the future, then, you know, that's all good. Um, that's, that's good for me and I'm happy with it. Um there is there is that, isn't there? If it saves somebody's life, that's the main thing. And, you yeah. know, again, health and safety. Oh. Don't get me wrong, health and safety can be a bit of a nightmare, as in goes over the top. 
but also you can see why, for instance, it's there. A lot of people, like around around Frankie, the, the camper van where, where I have my, my operation and all my equipment and stuff, there is wires there. And people do come, you know, have come. And it's like, you know, trying to tell them to, can you just... <laughs> Stay away. It's worked off for a reason, people. So there, there is that. You know, people don't understand there is a danger, isn't there? And they've got. Yeah. Well, at least, you know. At least what? Oh, what's he doing? He's plugging it in, I reckon. He's running out of power. But as always, help. So me. <laughs> no, him. Uh, it, it, it's. No, oh, I'm just getting messages saying, are you wearing Jane's dressing gown? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. I, I think we should wind this up now. It is my wife's, by the way. <laughs> I told you, it's not Friday night, though. You're not allowed to wear it. That's the way it is. But no, no, in all fairness, everyone, everyone, you know, uh, if you're local, get back, get back to Stansted as soon as you're allowed to. Mm. Get back to, you know, when COVID and that allows it, get back to it. All the drivers, uh, you know, I, I can only speak on my behalf, but, you know, Terry's probably the same. You know, thank you for the support of all last year. Going forward oh, as well. Yeah. You yeah, know, everyone, the drivers, the there's cabins, a lot more to come. All the guys that help us on the day, you know, um, without all of those people, even the spectators, everyone, mm. it's just a massive thank you to you all because <laughs> it's, you know, without all you guys, it's just a field. Mm -hmm. That's it. There's no one else there. It's just the fields. It is. How, how many people are working on that track in that weekend? Come on, Tell. I want you to say it for everyone. Say thank, thank you, you, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> Jamie without Jamie, my life yes. <laughs> I've been nice to him and said this, haven't I? That you know, we need. Well, you know, he's done really good out there doing his thing and slating people all the time. But no, no. <laughs> But no, thank, thank, thank you. Thank, thanks. Like Terry said, thanks everyone. You know, going forward, we'll get it going. And Terry, I want to thank you as well for for being Terry. <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. That's fine, Jamie. I'll do it all for you. <laughs> well, I'm going to go. I love you and leave you guys, you, and I'll see you on the 25th. Yeah, unfortunately, I won't be there. But see you later, yeah. Martin. Bye. See, see you later. later. Bye. Bye. So yeah, how many people roughly? We'll we'll, we'll finish up now, but um, um roughly sorry, how many? Race day, um, what are we talking about? Probably thirty people in total. It's um, a lot isn't it, for for that track. Yeah, four hundred meters, isn't yeah, yeah. it? Four hundred meter track. You what? Sorry. How big is the track? Uh, yeah, it's a quarter mile oval, so yeah, four hundred yeah. meters round. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a lot of people, isn't it? And, yeah. and that's what I mean. It's well maintained, well looked after. Everybody's safety's, you know, dealt with and made sure everything's run right, isn't it? So, uh, and it, obviously a great family day out as well, for one thing. But it does take a lot. And those people help you out. Some of them, I mean, they help you out week in, week out, if not all of them, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's people, you know, like Aubrey, and there's people there that have been there uh, helping out at that track from when it started, um, like 50 years ago. <laughs> Oh, big, big thanks to them, all yeah. those students and people. Yeah, because you know it is dangerous. No matter, you know, you can't say anything if you're inside that track. It, it's a dangerous area to be in, isn't it? Quite simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you know, know you, you can't say it's not. For to, to get injured, but yeah. you know, it's like it's like anything in it. You, 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 you do something you enjoy. You, you eat yeah. loads of cake. You're going to get fat. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, that's the point, though. But as much safety has been put in place. You know, I, I, I walk in there. I've got to deal with the camera because the camera's decided to, do you know what? I'm not going to transmit anything for a minute. You know, like, really? Just why are you doing this? And just go, go and check it. But, you know, if it was that dangerous, you wouldn't do it, would you? You know that yeah. the amount of safety has been put in place and that you're okay. And, you know, you know, if, you, if you're if going to go into that area, you, you want to make sure that it is, and that's what it is. So why, you know... How, how do I put this? I feel safer in there than I do outside sometimes because I might bump into Jamie. So that, that's, that's <laughs> <laughs> now he's gone. I can say that. Yeah. Um, it, it's been a pleasure, as always, having you on here, Terry, and uh, all the communication that you've, we've also had prior to this as well. And, and I really hope um, this season goes amazingly. Again, just a quick shout out to all the people out there. Thank you for watching as well. Much appreciated. Let us know in the comments anything you want to know. And I'm sure. 
if Terry doesn't pick up on it, I can pass on the message if it's anything of major importance. Um, we will be live streaming. It will be pay-per-view um, on the 25th and the 8th, oh, sorry, 9th. Doesn't look like we are pre-booked prior, but I am trying to sort on solutions. As always, you know, um, Stansted is high on high on a priority and we do want to get that done. But again, it's something where we don't charge Stansted so that it's a money thing, especially with COVID. So we're just trying to keep things business oriented. But then again, if I've got 100 people subscribing, this is the thing, if you don't mind me quickly adding, Terry, so that you know as well. It's a monthly fee it will charge you on YouTube. So if there is two races in that month or even three, it will still just be seven ninety nine. and you get to watch all three, for instance. Or if there's only one, it's seven ninety nine for the one. Or eight ninety nine, I should say, sorry. So that's something I can't change, and YouTube does charge 40%. So all in all, with all the fees, it's about 50% we lose in, in fees. So really, we're only making like, I mean, what was it I think we were doing last year? Four ninety nine, or was it six ninety nine? Oh, yeah, I think it was 499, weren't it originally? Yeah, I think that was the early bird one, wasn't it? 49, I think it was. Well, no, I think uh, it was. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, god, I see it that's such a long time ago as well. But there we go. I, I've pushed it out there free of charge and for the last year as well. I don't know, well, the last what was it four or five races? So, again, it's, it's something that we're, we're pushing forward in FBL as well. But again, it's a monthly fee, I can't do anything. I could bring the price down, but then. I need more people to watch to kind of cover my costs, if you know what I mean. But I don't mind bearing some of the brunt, which I have done over the last year. I think, oh, what do you reckon, Terry? Do you reckon I've been nice enough? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's the same thing, mate. Isn't it? It's, it's, it, it's got to pay for itself at least, doesn't it? It is. I, I think that's what I've always said. Uh, there you go, Swifty. Thank you for doing the live, he said. That's, you know, that's... My pleasure. And like again, you know, it's a privilege, you know, that you allow me on there and you allow me to, to help out and try and promote Stansted. It's it's one of those things nobody would do it for free because you know it, it costs money to do things, and you know it's got to be covered somewhere along the line. And also, I want to be able to give money back to you as a raceway. You know, imagine imagine I could say to you, here we go, we've got this amount of streaming's going on as in how much money's coming in there's the money that that should hopefully cover your insurance for the year you'd be like happy days oh yeah that would be lovely <laughs> that would be lovely yeah, but, that, but that's why i'm trying to do this i'm trying to help local sports businesses and stuff like that use youtube as a platform or any other streaming sort of ideas that we've got coming as well like facebook and stuff even though i've been banned from facebook or fbl has been banned from facebook not me personally um is yeah it's to return something to you you know, just because it's being live streamed doesn't mean you don't you don't get generated any money. And it will help you, you know, especially with this COVID going on, you know, it does open it's open minds up. It's made it a bit easier for me to sell to people as well. So if you know any companies out there in sports and stuff that are interested in our services, please please pass us on as well. Um, let me know what you think about the 899 fee. I know it's quite high in what some people will say, but there is other sports that will be coming on other events that will be coming that go on the live stream as well. Um, but we'll see what the best we can do. Um, Terry, once again, uh, uh, you know, thank you very much. Uh, any last words? Uh, no, just, well, thank you, Martin. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, thanks for doing this tonight. Um, <laughs> My but, pleasure. Yeah, just thank you to everyone that's uh, supported us and hopefully we'll see you all soon. Um, yeah. We, and, and you continue supporting us because, uh, well, we all, we all need a bit of help getting over all this. And fingers crossed that we can all get back to normal soon. And you can all come down to the track and get dirty and dusty and enjoy the racing. Well, Swifty did just right. Terry, do you think racing will go back to normal like how it was before COVID? Can I answer no. this for you? Bloody hopefully, right. Hopefully soon. Of course it will. Of course it will. It will do, but yeah. it's just when, isn't it? It's just when that's that is it literally um ash says stan says the place to race um once again everybody thank you for watching um do tune in when we do our live streams any drivers out there let us know direct message us and uh if you want to want to set up some profiles with you and everybody like comment share don't forget to subscribe to fbl and uh we will see you well hopefully with the stands there racing in about well hopefully in a couple of weeks but i can't guarantee it but um we will definitely get on there. When, 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 what, what were the dates quickly before we go again? The dates were, uh, I believe, we will be looking at. You read them all. 
I, I was going to say, yeah, I have got them here. Uh, we're looking at the 23rd of May. But again, I've got to sort these things out with this other company who has prior booked and trying to get them to move their things around. Um, we can only do what we can. But um, once again, everybody, thank you for watching. And we look forward to seeing you on our next transmission. Thank you. Bye-bye.